You know me, SDMT. Big news right here, baby. Big news. Let's get it, man. Deshaun Watson, man. It just keeps getting crazier, man. The story just keeps developing and getting crazier. You know what I mean? It's been twists and turns and so much new information. You know what I mean? It's just, it's a crazy situation. You know what I mean? A lot of football fans out there, you know what I mean? You know, initially you had to look at it like, man, this is a setup. You know what I'm saying? This is all cap. They trying to set a brother up. You know what I'm saying? The McNair family got their lawyer. You know what I mean? And they snake trying to snake Deshaun Watson, man. But so much information has came out, man. We got to look at this objectively. I know as football fans, you know, people don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? But this is not looking good. This is not looking good, man. You can see in my earlier videos, you know what I mean? I came out, you know what I'm saying? 100% letting you know, you know what I'm saying? It was, the timing was weird. And, uh, you know what I mean? It seemed shady and it seemed like they're trying to set him up for trying to get out of Houston, but it may be more than that, a lot more to it because, you know, the numbers just keep racking up. You know what I mean? It's over 24 allegations against Deshaun Watson at this moment. You know what I mean? So this is a crazy situation to think 24 allegations, but in positive news, you know what I mean? Recently, his lawyer came out and they have 18 massage therapists saying that he never, you know, sexually harassed them. You know what I mean? That sounds great, but does it? You know what I mean? You add 18 people that said he didn't sexually harass him to the other 24 ladies that did, and that's over damn near 45 to 50 different massage therapists. It don't seem like he was going for no damn massage. You know what I'm saying? When you really look at it, um, we got to get to all these details, but... You know, two of the ladies said he coerced them into, you know what I mean, into them give, topping him off, we'll say, you know what I'm saying? So two ladies topped him off, you know what I mean? Some of the other ladies said that, you know, he, uh, you know, flopped his, you know, his stick on them and tried to get them to put, put their hand on it during the massage. And one of them said he was thrust in the air, you know what I mean, when she was rubbing his legs and, he, you know, he left a mess on the table. <laughs> this is This is crazy, man. Deshaun Watson is freaky as hell, man. I don't even know, man. You never know what people into, you know what I'm saying? And he may just have some kind of, you know, massage parlor, massage obsession, you know what I mean? And when people get money, if you have an addiction or obsession, it gets worse, you know what I mean? So we got to look at it. He had damn near 50 different massage therapists within a, you know, a few years span, which is crazy right there, you know what I'm saying? Most times, athletes, you want a massage, you got maybe one person you go to them you like because they do a good job, maybe two. Maybe you can find five good people, but when you start getting 30, 40, 50 different people, you know what I'm saying, you ain't going for no massage, and it may just be a sexual addiction or obsession because when you look at it, you know what I mean, just like guys when they watch porn, they don't want to see the same girls. You know what I mean? That's why they be flipping and scrolling through all. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. So for Deshaun Watson, maybe for him, you know what I mean? He maybe he wants to get to see a different girl. You know what I mean? If he was smarter about it, he'd have like ten different massage therapists that massage him the way he likes it, and uh, you know, pay him off, pay him money, and you know, not try to get any new people. You know what I mean? But it's crazy, man. But I want to get into. Um, you know, the next thing right here is, um, you know, very bad news. The police have started to investigate uh, one of the complainants of the allegations. So I'm pretty sure it's probably one of the ladies that said he coerced them into, you know, topping them off. Um, or, you know what I mean? How did he, you know, maneuver them to do that to him? So I think that's probably one of, the, uh, one of those ladies. So that's bad news when it starts getting criminal. You had, you know, the legal issues and the NFL starts, you know what I mean, investigating. And now it's, it could be criminal. So this is really bad for Deshaun Watson, uh, really bad for football fans. And this, is, this is a really bad situation for him. And like for me, you know, we came out as fans, we support him. But in the same sense, if he's, you know what I'm saying, doing these things, you got to hold him accountable. You know what I mean? Because if you don't, these things can get worse. We saw Darren Sharper get convicted of a rape in damn near 20 women, you know what I mean, after he retired. Maybe that could have got stopped 
if she'd be that confronted earlier in his career. You know what I mean? Then we got um, Kellen Winslow Jr., who teammates said he couldn't control himself from masturbating in front of him. It was weird as hell, but <laughs> he couldn't control himself. Then he ends up masturbating to a few women and raping a homeless woman later on in his life. Maybe if he could have got help, that could have stopped those situations from happening. So maybe Deshaun Watson needs help, man. And hopefully this situation, you know, didn't go too far where he's crossed any major lines and maybe could pay these ladies or figure it out. But if, you know, hopefully he hasn't raped anybody, any, anything of that nature yet. Um, you know, and the next thing is his attorney came out when, when he heard about the police, you know, investigation. He said they look forward to, you know, you know, um, saving Deshaun Watson's name and then also, you know, finding out who this, you know, complainant is because I guess it's anonymous right now, but in a criminal case, they have to let them know who it is. So um, that's crazy right there. Now it's now criminal for Deshaun Watson. We look at him, he was a young player just coming off of, you know, a solid year leading the league in passing yards, you know what I mean? He had a bright future. He may could have got out of Houston and got onto a better team. We're looking at different scenarios what teams he can go to but now this definitely cloud hangs over him because he could be put on the commissioner's exempt list where he can't even play football and that'd be rough for him right there so you know that'd be a huge situation but nothing compared to you know the, this you know the civil lawsuits they hit his pockets he has enough money so he probably had to pay all these ladies that's a lot of ladies <laughs> i mean the people to pay off and then also criminal you know what i mean could he do some time that would be huge right there. That would be really bad for his career. You know what I'm saying? It could be it's a Michael Vick S situation in the prime of your career, young quarterback being taken out of the league. That would be rough. You know what I mean? You know, we've seen guys like Ben Roethlisberger have, you know, several, you know, a few different uh, sexual assault allegations. So it's nothing new, but um, hopefully he's innocent. But in the same sense, if he. You know, even if he is innocent, he's not 100% innocent of not putting himself in bad situations. You shouldn't be going to 50 different massage therapists. No cap. You know what I'm saying? You're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? You're doing too much. If you got this sexual fantasy situation, you can find you some girls and you y'all can play that out. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you have no right to be putting, you know, if true, um, treating these professional massage therapists unprofessionally and not respecting them and their boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Um, just because you're an NFL quarterback, you're rich and famous, doesn't give you the privilege to, you know what I mean, disrespect people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. He's a great quarterback. I support him. You know me. You follow me. You already know. But if he's on some goofy stuff, I'm going to keep it real and I'm going to call it out. You already know. On SDMT, I can't play that goofy stuff. But when we really look at it, man, Deshaun Watson's career right now is definitely in the crossroads of how this goes. Because how many more ladies come out and how much more serious do these allegations come out? If it's just, you know, him, you know, trying to fondle these ladies or hit his stuff on them, that's bad. But did he actually rape some women? Did he actually do something that really crossed the line where he'll be looking at a lot of time? Now, that, that stuff is horrible, too. You could probably get some time for that, too. But, you know what I mean? It's just levels of his discretions, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's pretty sad when you really look at it because, you know, when you when you get money, you know what I mean, if you have certain addictions or obsessions, it's going to get worse because you now have unlimited, you know what I mean, you know, funds to help support that addiction, whether it's drugs, sex, or whatever. So for him, it could be a uh, sexual, you know, obsession with these massage therapists. So that's why in that small of a time frame, he has... 50 different massage therapists. That is insane right there, you know what I'm saying? 45 to 50 different massage therapists. It's crazy as a lawyer would, you know, get these 18 uh, massage therapists to come out supporting him because in the same sense, you're sh you're showing a, you know, a serial problem, a serial issue of why is this guy keep going to all these different massage therapists? He's not finding one that he likes. He just keeps going to different ones. Why is he doing that? It's definitely a sexual uh a sexual uh, reasoning for it you know what i mean it's just it's no cap you know what i mean you just don't do that especially as an athlete you want to make sure you find somebody good you know what i mean you want to make sure you find some people that can really get to those muscles hit those areas that you want to hit them and uh you know really help you to performance um uh, but in the same sense if you just go into anybody you know what i'm saying like come on now and i'm pretty sure 
Um, these ladies definitely, you know what I'm saying, ain't ugly. You know what I'm saying? No cap. You can see, you probably know they ain't ugly. And then we also got to look at it. Two of the ladies came out and said that, you know, he may have reached out to him, to him on Instagram and also said he may have been trying to settle and he deleted those messages. So if he's trying to settle, that also does show some guilt, which we already know he put himself in a very precarious situation. But um, this is crazy, man. Um, this thing's keep spinning. I'm going to keep bringing you guys this story. Um, you know what I mean? We got we to gotta definitely keep you guys locked in and let you guys know what's going on. And then just overall, just see how this whole situation develops, man. It's a young star quarterback, you know, pretty much fighting for his freedom, his career, and his money at this point that none of us saw this happening. You know what I mean? None of us really saw this happening. I didn't. Maybe the Houston Texans did. Maybe they knew the whole time. Maybe it was something they had in their back pocket. If he stepped out of line, he would. they were put to, put to the forefront. I don't know. But it does make sense. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on my notifications. I'm out. SDMT!